Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Des Reacts, and today I am reacting to the top 10 times The Simpsons roasted other TV shows, and I like The Simpsons. I used to watch The Simpsons all the time when I was younger, and I kind of fell off. I'm not going to lie, I, I fell off watching The Simpsons. I don't, I don't know why, because I did enjoy it, but yeah, we're going to watch the top 10 times they roasted other TV, TV shows, and credit to Watch Mojo for this video. I will put a link to the original Dan in the description below and a link to their channel. Go and check them out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. I will be uploading daily and I take requests, so if there's anything that you want me to do, just let me know down below. Let's get into this. I'm hoping it's funny. I supercharged my riding mower! <laughs> Oh no, I've killed Wilson. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times The Simpsons roasted TV shows. Ah. For this list, we'll be looking at the best zingers our favorite Springfieldianites have lobbed at other shows. Which show do you think The Simpsons would roast? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, American Idol. American Idol. Okay, so I'm glad that they actually tell me the name of the programs because while I have watched a lot, I'm not familiar with everything. I mean, the first clip with the lawnmower, I'm not 100% sure what that was. And the next one, obviously, I know was Star Trek. The one after that, I believe, may have been Married with Children, but I'm not 100% sure. Idol brought us so many iconic moments that it was only a matter of time until The Simpsons mocked it. Cheap face! Cheap face! <laughs> Oh, baby, but she moves, she moves. The Springfield Ianite family <laughs> appeared on an episode of American Idol to judge the harshest judge in pop culture history, Simon Cowell. He serenades the family with his own version of Don't You. Don't you wish your boyfriend was hot like me? Don't you wish your boyfriend was a freak like me? The Simpsons are not impressed <laughs> with Cowell singing it. and send him through a trap door. <laughs> that wasn't the only time Springfield lampooned American Idol. Despite having a show clearly based on American Idol, Krusty the Clown claimed he has never heard of it. And you were born to enter Krusty's Little Star Maker singing competition. Unaffiliated with American Idol, we've never even heard of American Idol. <laughs> sure, Krusty, we totally believe you. Number 9. South Park The creators of The Simpsons and the creators of South Park have always enjoyed a playful rivalry. In one of South Park's episodes, Simpsons already did it, the characters comment on how every scheme Butters thinks of has already happened in Springfield. Oh, it'll be just like on The Simpsons. <laughs> huh? They did that on The Simpsons. I think it was the Mr. Burns character. He tried to block Springfield from the sun. On The Simpsons' side, <laughs> Bart and Milhouse watch a spoof of South Park, which Marge is less than thrilled about. <laughs> Kids, that cartoon's not life-affirming. The series later directly satirized Boys of <laughs> South Park, where Otto accidentally kills Ralph, before revealing that he killed Kenny yesterday. Oh my god, I killed Kenny! Ralph! No, I killed Kenny yesterday. What did I do now? <laughs> Thankfully, Kenny was not actually harmed and went on to be killed many more times in South Park. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know. Obviously, this is not... Uh video based on like top 10 funniest moments but i don't know i don't really find the simpsons that funny anymore the the odd part here and there that you get a laugh at i've been reacting to a lot of south park recently and there's been videos that have had tears coming out of my eyes and cartman has been doing so much stuff since the last time i watched it and it's just been hilarious but for some reason the simpsons i don't know it, i used to i used to find it so funny it used to be hilarious but now it just don't hit the same anymore and i don't know why number eight behind the music in this fan favorite episode, Behind the Laughter parodied the infamous VH1 docuseries. For a time, they were the biggest band in the world. They were as big as Madonna and Bruce Springsteen and Michael Jackson. Following the same beats as a Behind the Music episode, we learn the rise, fall, and eventual rise again of The Simpsons. It was an evening none of them would ever forget. Or would they? No. Some of the best jabs include actual behind the music narrator Jim Forbes commentary and many of the scandals the family was involved in. Bart was arrested for assaulting flight attendants, Lisa was fed anti-growth hormones, and Homer became addicted to painkillers. Somehow, Homer became addicted to painkillers. That doesn't surprise me. It was the only way he could perform the bone-cracking physical comedy that made him a star. It's a clever take on the series. And the best part is the implication that other cartoon characters are also featured on Behind the Laughter. Number 7. Pokemon 
These little pocket monsters are still outrageously popular, but that hasn't come without a bit of controversy. The Simpsons mocked the Pokemon Go craze when Springfield citizens couldn't stop playing Pikimon Get. <laughs> I'm playing Pikimon Get, see? That's a. One, I've never ever watched Pokemon. I've never watched Pokemon. I've never played any of their games. And I, this craze, this Pokemon Go craze, it, it was incredible. And like even down to people like long distance driving, they'd come on a journey just to see if they can catch more Pokemon or whatever. It is a craze that like it 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 went big. And I think still to now, I think people are still looking for the Pokemon Go now. And this craze was a few years back. Wow, Rotata. That has got to be the stupidest game I've ever heard of. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's really a kid's game. And it's silly for me to... Play it. I'm playing it. <laughs> the first time The Simpsons satirized Pikachu and his friends was when they visited Tokyo. While watching a show called Battling Seizure Robots, the characters actually experienced seizures. This was a reference to an unfortunate real-life incident where multiple Japanese children had a seizure while watching an episode of Pokemon. Japan didn't take too kindly to this satire, but they were much more incensed by the scene where Homer threw the Emperor of Japan into a bin of sumo wrestling undergarments. I am the Emperor. Yeah, and I'm Carbosaurus. <laughs> the episode is still never aired in Japan. I'm not Number surprised. six, <laughs> Married with Children. I got it right. When Married, married with, with children. children first aired, it was considered downright raunchy. Lulu, one for the road. <laughs> Good things do come in small packages. <laughs> Then you should have him turn around. The series had multiple controversies, which, of course, The Simpsons had to poke fun at. When NASA is trying to determine how to get more Americans interested in space again, they watch a short bit of Married with Children. In this bit, Al Bundy flushes a toilet, literally bringing to life the phrase toilet humor. Al, let's have sex. Uh, no pig. <laughs> Ned Flanders also watches a bit of the toilet humor and remembers Fox's catchphrase, watch Fox and be damned for all eternity. These plants are all lifeless and limp. Maybe they'd feel more at home in the bedroom, Al. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the network slogan is true. Watch Fox and be damned for all eternity. <laughs> Ironically, both The Simpsons and Married with Children aired on Fox. It's safe to say that the creators knew exactly what they were doing when they slipped that joke in. Number 5. Batman Over the years, The Simpsons have poked a bit of fun at the 1960s Batman series. However, it wasn't until season 14 that the show made a spoof of Batman. Bart and Milhouse watch an old episode where Krusty the Clown plays a villain named Clownface, who shares a few traits with the Joker. Well, if it isn't Batmensch and the Goy Wonder. <laughs> Sweet Valley High, Krusty played a Batman villain? Clownface even has a few clown sidekicks, just like the Joker. <laughs> Filled with absurd catchphrases, <laughs> traps, and of course, Batman's utility belt, the parody packs the right zow. The best bit may be Batman's carousel reversal spray, which he uses to save the day. How did you ever escape? Fortunately, I always carry my carousel reversal spray. I miss Adam oh, West. What don't you I miss him in Family belt? Guy. Patience for Harlequin hoodlums like yourself. Number four, Law and Order. There is a joke that if you're an actor in New York, you've probably been on an episode of Law & Order. Okay, this whole thing is ridiculous. The series has spawned multiple spin-offs and a recent reboot, many of which have had crossover episodes. The Simpsons the couldn't help but joke that with so many spin-offs, Law & Order would start airing a version called Law & Order Elevator Inspector's Unit. Let's watch some quality <laughs> scripted television. Law & Order. Elevator Inspector's Unit. Homer groans as the series follows the same music, beats, and oh-so-serious dialogue. One detective comments that they will puke over an elevator light that's gone out. Here's the thing, Inspector. The button for five doesn't light up. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, that's it. TV was the one good thing in my life, and now I can't enjoy it anymore. It's a clever take on the ultimate formulaic series. Number three, The X-Files. 
Something Technically, a crossover watched. episode, the creator of X-Files considered it... When I was younger, the X-Files was a big thing. That, like, it was a big series, and everyone watched it. And I used to go to school, and everyone used to oh, did you watch? did you watch the X-Files last night? And did you watch it? Blah, blah, blah. No, never watched it. Never seen it. Never watched an episode of it. I, I've seen the Mulder and Scully jokes and everything from it, but never actually sat down and watched an episode of the X-Files. It's an honor to be satirized by The Simpsons. Hello, can I help you? Agents Mulder and Scully, FBI. The episode was actually one of the longest to complete, and showrunners worried that audiences wouldn't find it funny. This is a simple lie detector. I'll ask you a few yes or no questions, and you just answer truthfully. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> Multiple details pay homage to the original X-Files, including the design of Mulder and Scully's office. Even though Mulder and Scully are trying to determine whether or not Homer actually saw an alien, there are references to some of the actual cases they solved. Neither Mulder nor Scully are particularly thrilled about this case, and they leave before it's even solved. This is the worst assignment we've ever had. <laughs> Worse than the time we were attacked by the flesh-eating virus? Yes! <laughs> oh, he bit me with my own teeth! No, this is much more irritating. I've seen enough, Mulder. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Number 2. Star Trek The Original Series The Simpsons takes great delight in taking jabs at Star Trek. I have here the only working phaser ever built. It was fired only once to keep William Shatner from making another album. Some of the stars of the series have even guest starred as themselves. Leonard Nimoy rode the Springfield monorail, much to the discomfort of other Springfieldianites. A solar eclipse. The cosmic ballet goes on. Does anyone want to switch seats? <laughs> In one of the best gags, Bart and Lisa watch a trailer for Star Trek 12. So very tired. Star Trek 12. So very tired. <laughs> See the original cast in their latest greatest adventure. The elderly crew have very little fight <laughs> left in them, as Captain Kirk complains that his hernia is acting up and is frustrated when told the Klingons are up to no good. Yet again. Captain Klingons off the starboard bow. Again with the Klingons. Mr. Scott, give me full power. It's no good, Captain. I cannot reach the control panel. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Make sure to go you have check the option to be notified for occasional videos channel. or all of them. If you're on your phone, and make sure you go into your settings well. and switch like, on that, notifications. Not and I'm not just talking over there, but like, subscribe to my Number channel one, as well because I'm trying to Tom build and it. Jerry. This is, the big one. this is the one I was thinking that like, and I don't know why I put closed caption on. This is the one that I was thinking because itchy and scratchy has always, to me, been. Uh, it's not a roast. It's basically a rip off of Tom and Jerry. I love Tom and Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry is the only thing that I can sit and watch where there's no talking apart from Thomas. It's the only thing that I can sit and watch that's got no talking that. I find hilarious. One of the only things. There's probably more, but that's one of the only things. It is windy as hell today. I don't know what the hell is going on. It is so windy. Put a cartoon within a cartoon, Matt Groening created the Itchy and Scratchy Show, a clear parody of Tom and Jerry. <laughs> the cartoon features a mouse named Itchy terrorizing a cat named Scratchy. Each episode ends in blood, guts, and usually a blown up or severed scratchy. <laughs> hey, my threads, baby! While the characters are used to poke fun at the ultra cartoon <laughs> violence present in Tom and Jerry, they have also been used to make fun of the Simpsons themselves. In the Itchy and Scratchy and Poochie show, the creators add a new character. Poochie is not well received by Springfieldianites, but the episode is a hilarious take on TV shows Jumping the Shark. Always recycle. To the extreme! Busted! Ah, that stunk! <laughs> well, what did everybody think? Did you enjoy this video? Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. Like I said, honestly, it's the case that with The Simpsons that I outgrew it. And it's something that, like, to now, I'm thinking, I've got Disney Plus, and it's got every episode on, and not once have I thought to myself, do you know what, I'm going to go and watch The Simpsons, because it's on Disney Plus. So, yeah, that, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I will be uploading daily, so I will see you in the next one.